Billboard feel the need to get rid of Dancehall, but Dancehall can't die. You understand? Dancehall will never die. Fuck Billboard. We've been, we Dancehall been dead. We don't give a fuck about bill, Billboard. When we have Dancehall, Mentor, and Ray, 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 Billboard never build. So we don't really give a fuck about Billboard. Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jumping at the topics, my beginner to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Reggae singer gets killed in a drive by shooting. Mr. Lex, this bumbo man, Harry Hype after being him and blames them for mashing up dancehall. Tony Mataran, this up billboard after replacing reggae song category with Afrobeat. Lexi, the boss family addresses GoFundMe scam rumors. Will and Jada to finally address the Chris Rock slap and Red Table Talk. And Alkaline criticized by fans after seeing his new look. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Mr. Lex, this in bumbo man, Harry Hype. Is him a people? And the man actually said them Utah is no selector. Them are just some man who are playing music you see it people but before me show you know what mr lex officer all of this is coming from where some people say dance all i go down the drain zine it are going a downward spiral and being a man feel like say the selectors them zine like harry i boom boom they are actually helping to mash up the genre even more you see what man say people being a man say yo the man them a play be a chap dance all them not actually play anything that is authentic you understand what me i say so boom boom did i keep some dance all them have a little thing i guess them keep it every week or whatever and being a man actually put boom boom in a in place. I'm going to play the video first and then I'm going to actually show you what Mr. Lex said. But not only Mr. Lex, you know, people, even Nikki Z and producer T Mineral Boss had something to say about all of this as well. So I'm going to show you all of them things about check out what Beanie Man said and you guys can tell me if you don't agree, if you don't feel like said them selector yeah, help for mashup dance. Let's see my people. So listen this. Don't blame we, blame yourself. I'm doing man. When man bring dance and sang come go there, don't play. The dog that I want to area. When man bring dance and sang come go there, don't play. When you play the trap dance and. When you play the man, they may not come and no party you now. And we were there, when you not play we. The man they were there, when you play them. One hour, two hour, three hour. And them are fuck up the music. But that's why you know it. The man that we are talking about, yo, we have a girl over there, and them man they only have three images. We're not paying the money, we have five for dancer. How much time about? All right, people. So Mr. Lex did repost that on him Instagram page. Zane, and basically him say, ah, oh, that's it here. Some of them DJ, as a matter of fact, them are not even selectors. They're just some youths where I play music where them like. Properly said, brother, and him tag being him man. I'm not even going to elaborate. And him just walk away. You understand what I say, people? So that's what Mr. Lex have to say. We're going to move on to what Nikki Z actually said about being him man too. So she reposted it on her Instagram status, Imbo status, on her IG page, and she said, tag being the place too dark where is the fun the joy the rhythm of dance hall we gave them a chance they have royally failed royally failed boy i mean if a royalty or royally but whatever she said royally failed can we take it back to dance hall again please make music fun again and team mineral bar zine she actually said as a big producer in the industry my have to agree i have one of the baddest rhythm in dance hall right now and guess what Nikki Z co sign me, please. Top being a man, the place too dark. Where is the fun and joy? The rhythm of dance hall. You see it? So, I don't go on, pan what I go on, people, and you don't know the thing go. Will it more people feel that way? The chop dance hall help for mash up dance hall. You understand what I say, people? And when you can see for yourself, being a man was so upset that he had to confront them at their own event. But anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about selector Tony Mataran. This is not the billboards and this is because billboard did remove the reggae song category and replace it with Afro beats and things. You see people? So all the people get into them feelings and some people even feel like say Afro beat is no bigger than dancehall because it, them seem fair going with that thing. You understand what I mean? Say, but Tony Mataran say, look, a, a dancehall and reggae the thing there, no matter what, and we should also create our own platform, create our own billboard then. You understand what I say, people? So, I'm going on the Instagram live so you can hear what Tony Matarana for say. And you guys can tell me if you don't agree with what he is saying in the comment section. Is it my people? Hey, remember, you know they tell me, I'm telling you, say, billboard them. The guy them never rate me. From blood clot, man, and seat. 
I hate to be right. I just fucking hate to be right. And I, I love when people hate me for the wrong reason. And then them find out, say, Mataran was telling the truth all along. And it just come right back around. I'm just look like, he's a savior. You know what I'm saying? Billboard feel the need to get rid of Dancer. But Dancer can't die. You understand? Dance hall will never die. Fuck billboard. We've been we dance hall been dead. We don't give a fuck about bill, billboard. When we have dance hall mentor and rare rare, billboard never build. So we don't really give a fuck about billboard. You understand? We build piece of board and build with dance hall. So we don't give a fuck if billboard are them confederates um don't recognize reggae. Because suck a mother. Straight up. I done the telling already. You know, see, I post a video. All dog do dirty wine. Dirty wine is a dance hall song. I never seen a dog dance to none of them song yet. Yeah, me see it, Ray. I see it, Puma. You understand? So, on the don't get it. Tina, be big up yourself. Don't get it twisted. Dance hall, not dead. Dance hall have millions of fans. All music can't die. You understand? So, when you see Billboard, remember, say, on the cost me. I see all somehow on the cost me and say, oh, Matter on him too enough. Ray, ray, ray. When me tell him, I say, fuck it. Build your own platform. Uno say, in bad mind. Oh, for bad mind if me I tell you, say, build your own house. Buy your own clothes. You tell me, say, me bad mind for tell you, say, for build your own thing. Oh, for bad mind. That's somebody with a good mind. Remember the whole blood clot world, he come and me say, God, oh, to no more. And the whole world said, him now apologize. I say, apologize to no do no more. Remember, I build me build dance hall, you know. 90% of artists can tell the truth. I true enough for them to like tell the truth and give selector ratings. Me go the places them before them, you know. And me go there. Me come like John the Baptist. Me go the place them. Go drop the song them. And make the people them know the song them. Then two twos, promoter where they do my dance. Say, hey, that song there. Make a book the artist there. I saw some of the artists them get book. Them are going like say, oh. I hear a promoter hear my song and. Request me. Oh, him hear it. And we got to place them. Me go Japan before half of the dance hall fraternity. Me go Russia. Me go Germany. Me go all of them places there. Before half of the fraternity. A reggae man used to go to them foreign places. Look where me I go next week. This weekend, you know what me there? Me and DeMarco there at Denver. Denver, Colorado. Where the blood clot and I know about dance hall over there. But I'm going to make one know over there. All right, so the question is, people, knowing that Billboard is one of the things them that a lot of persons aspire to go on, you understand? That is like a Grammy Award. Everybody wants a Grammy and all of these things because you see how people go on to get a Grammy nomination. We see where Skilly Bang and Nicki Minaj Crocodile Teeth was featured on the Billboard Hot 100 chart at the, at the 100 spot, and that made a lot of persons happy for Skilly Bang. So some people aspire to make it on Billboard as well. So can we as Jamaicans or whatever you want, call it create something that can be bigger than billboard i don't know people or anything let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so now we're gonna talk about lexi the boss family actually speaking out because a gofundme page was being um shared on the internet and some people feel like say it was a scam and stuff like that you understand because when i know if some people assume because she was an 876 roommates i believe she was actually the winner that she had money and all of that you don't know she did a, the youtube and you don't know the thing you see me so some people feel like say no sir this definitely not real you see me people but let's get into this article so i understand what's going on and as usual only can leave some comments you see it so it's a not a scam. Relatives of Lexi the Best seeks financial assistance. The family of Lexi the Best, the social media influencer who passed away in a motor vehicle um, almost two weeks ago, has launched a GoFundMe account which they say will be used to raise money to fulfill some of her dreams. Lexi Ann Williams, Lexi the Best, given name, was one of three persons in a Toyota Mark X which collided in a Toyota Voxy on the North Coast Highway near Spring Hill, Chilani. She, along with the driver, passed 
passed away while her best friend Celia Vernon got some injuries. During a candlelighting event which took place at the family's home in Rio Bueno, some relatives, including one of William's siblings, expressed that he was not pleased with the idea of a GoFundMe account to help with funeral arrangements. This led persons to believe it was a scam. However, William's mother Sharon Paris has confirmed that the online crowdfunding campaign is not a scam. The GoFundMe is not entirely about the funeral because her sisters and other relatives have plans to come together and bury her. Paris told the star, this account is for me and her friend Celia to assist with anything that's needed. No date has been set for William's funeral as the autopsy has not yet been carried out. She said the family is open to raise 20,000 US dollars, approximately 3.06 million. Up to press time, 130 US dollars had been raised. As Lexi the Best, William stood out as top female comedian in the reality TV series 876 Roommates. According to Celia's sister, Livra Vernon, she is in certain condition at the Cornwall Regional Hospice in Montego Bay, St. James, with two of her legs can't move and so forth. Is it my people? I'm not going to read out the full article, but basically, I want to know say, if you see the GoFundMe page on the internet, it's not a scam. You understand? All the people, as I said, they have some things to say about this and, you know. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about a reggae singer who was actually conned up, you see my people, and boy, oh boy, very sad situation. And he's actually the leader of a group that goes by the name of Mighty Diamonds, you see me. Enough of one is supposed to be familiar with Mighty Diamonds. So may I just get into the story right away and thing and thing. You see my people? So it's a Mighty Diamonds lead singer conned up in a drive-by. Lead singer of stalwart reggae group Mighty Diamond, Stabby Diamond, was among two people who got conned up in a drive-by on McKinley Crescent in Kingston minutes before 10 on Tuesday night. Three other persons got injured in the Ray Ray. Officers report that the 67-year-old singer, whose real name is Donald Arlanda Shaw, was among a group of people who were gathered at a section of the community. When men with broomsticks opened fire from a passing motor vehicle, Tabby Diamond and another man whose identity have not yet been released passed away at the hospice. The conduct has left members of the reggae industry in shock and grief as Tabby Diamond, well known to be a strange Rastafarian who embraced the philosophy of peace and love. You see people, so that I go on, you know, very sad news. Ah oh boy, I don't know what could have caused these people. You see me? Boy, oh boy. As I said, it's definitely rough. And this I got actually touched the reggae fraternity. You see it, people? But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about the Vendetta boss, Alkaline. You see, my people? Now, Alkaline New Look has a lot of persons talking, you understand? Both man and woman. And to be honest, people, me know that Alkaline is an artist. You can't study, you understand? One moment you might see him with um, ear, facial hairs, and next minute you might cut it off. Same thing, you might see him a locks, then the next minute you might see him here just pull out or whatever it may be. You understand what I say? But the new look, which is that photo that was actually posted on um, over Pam Pink Wall, you see my people? And the people over there are this up Alkaline and even Alkaline Daily had to comment over there because you don't know how the thing go. You don't know how pink walls stay. So people may ask you a question. Zane, on a surprise seeing a new look from the Vendetta boss. Remember said so the man keep new rules. The man have to come out looking different. You know? And that's why I say Alka I know one of them artists here can study as it. So I actually get into um the comments them so you can see where some of the people must say. You understand? So that person say, you never know what's going on behind the scenes. Whatever is good or bad, I'm praying for you. You see, my people, I don't know what that person is trying to insinuate, but as I tell you, say, Alkaline Daily did also left a comment on him, say, People, Alka shaved his beard and left a mustache, hence why he looked different. Secondly, Pink Wall, I'll know, I don't see post the dog sell out Miami night before last. New Rules was a success. Bless up, you see it, and Pink Wall is a mix-up page, so, I mean, they, them could have still post it still, you know, because it would have still get whole heap of comments, but you know, say, them post this because them know, say, people are got drawn to the looks of Alkaline and say all type of things. So, our next person say, clearly, some of Uno not learned from Chadwick, don't judge a, a person by their physical appearance, you don't know what they're going through. You see, my people, and Chadwick was the guy who actually came in the movie Black Panther, but anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this. 
in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Will and Jada to finally address the whole Chris Rock situation that took place at the Oscars a few nights ago. Will Smith and Jada will talk about it on the Red Table Talk, which is Jada's show. Is it? So let's get into this story so you guys can understand what's going on. And let me know if you guys can't wait for them to talk about it and want to finally, you know, them finally just tell you know, why, you know, what got Will so upset and all of that. Because the whole world will look for here way more for saying, no. well, well, if people are listen for here, Chris Rock actually come out and speak as well. But anyway, this is what the story I say. Jada and Will Smith to address Chris Rock slap on the Red Table Talk. According to reports, Will Smith has been turning down requests to appear on shows like the Today Show and Good Morning America following his appearance on the Oscars where he did certain things to Chris Rock before winning an Oscar. Will Smith reportedly breezed past the press following the Best Actor Award for the movie King Richard. Sources tied to the situation are alleging that Will Smith has turned down the previous mentioned outlets and press so that he can appear on Jada Pinkett Smith Red Table Talk and break his silence on the situation situation heard around the world. The sources claim that Will and Jada spoke about addressing the situation on the Facebook show and the episode with the couple will be filmed this week. The sources went on to say Smith feels the Red Table Talk is the best place for him to reveal his side of the story in a transparent fashion. News of this comes as the academy currently assesses Smith's chances of being invited to attend next year's ceremony. Stay tuned for more updates. Yes, it people. So, you don't know if you don't want to hear what him have to say, you might go address it on Red Table Talk. I may not follow up that whole series thing or whatever it may be, you understand? But you don't know said that night. Maybe I might actually tune into it and hear what Will Smith have to say. You understand, people? Also, Chris Rock, well, listen if you hear what you say as well, because you don't know you're going to break your silence all now on the internet. So, what if people are waiting on that? Well, not from my knowledge. You understand what I say? But anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn the bell on. Bless upon yourself and keep safe. I'm out.